you're gambling. The same way if you fuck a whole wrong, being alone with the being alone with a female today, current time, you're rolling the fucking dice. Because you don't know what the fuck this hoe gonna come up with. You don't know what the fuck this hoe is on. You don't know if I sent over there. You lame. I've been peeping you for how long? Like, I got a get rich scheme. I don't want to work. I want a shortcut. So I'm going to send a bitch at you because I'm good with hoes. You lame. I can tell you lame. I sent a hoe at you. Get y'all in the, uh, tell her to get you in a, a room by yourself. A week later, she going to give you a text, say, hey, um, I feel like you uh, fucking sexually assaulted me. I'm going to the police. Welcome back to the Big Fast Podcast, but this will be broadcast on the Stupid Rapper Show YouTube channel because... I'm about to go crazy. This this is I'm done with this shit, yo. Look, I'm Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of AO Nation and the Men 2 movement. As you can see, I have my Men 2 t-shirt on at this very point. If you want your own Men 2 t-shirt, go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Get your own or get your um men two shirts go for twenty dollars. All other t-shirts. Um, any color, any size, whatever like that goes for 15 and all headwear goes for 10. Um, get your shit together, be home. Remember though, that PayPal is not the PayPal that you donate to. The PayPal you donate to is paypal.me forward slash Aaron337. And if you want to get your uh, PayPal read on the AO Nation donation conversation every third Sunday, then you donate there. I, I'm, I'm throwing off. Um, also, go to change.org in the description box and sign the Men to petition. I appreciate everyone who's supported the movement. Even some people that donate. I didn't even know you could donate. I appreciate all the fucking support and shit like that. And I feel like this. With the support that we're getting for this movement, I kind of feel... I had somebody send me a fucking... Or uh, uh, tag me in a post where some dude was like, we need a male Me Too movement. And I, he was ignorant to the fact that we already have the, the Men Too movement and shit like that. And that's another reason we need to spread this shit out even more. But I'm pretty sure it... Because with black people, if they, if they knew it was one out, they wouldn't even speak about it. Because black people don't like to promote other black people. It's just what the fuck it is. Um, but let's get it out there. Go in the description box. And if, you, if you're if you not, I'm, I'm feeling like this. If you get fucked over by a bitch, by a fake rape charge, a fake domestic violence charge and shit like that, and your name ain't on this fucking petition, one thing that you can I can guarantee, you won't get no motherfucking coverage nor support from me. Celebrities, they gonna get coverage no matter what. You, people gonna pick through the case and shit like that. But for average, everyday motherfucker, that's who I'm talking to. The average, everyday motherfucker. You'll get railroaded and nobody will fucking know. What I am going to start doing, um, not sure on which channel, but we're going to start bringing females who have been affected by domestic violence and rape, false allegations, and the males. Talking about their prison stories, um, going to trial and all kind of shit, whatever like that. Be on the lookout for that. But let's get into this shit. Uh, your homeboy DeAndre Francois from FSU, quarterback and shit like that, got his whole life destroyed because a bitch named Diamond Lindsay said that he beat me. And her saying that wasn't enough for him to be arrested, which we know that just because you don't get arrested right then, give social media some time or the hip hop police because social media is the, not, the uh, current day hip hop police give the hip hop police time and they will turn a fucking meme into a fucking charge ask Dominique uh, Williams 
or Dominique Wilkins, whatever the fuck his name is. Um, first off, if the bitch name is Diamond, you probably need to get, if her, her government name is Diamond, you probably need to get down the fucking road. Secondly, I'm trying to speak to you. If you have something going for yourself, my nigga, there is no such thing as real love. Just motherfuckers trying to get in where they fit in. Motherfuckers trying to get their money. My nigga, if you play football, you're a college football player, even a high school standout. Motherfuckers ain't thinking about love. They thinking about their life. This shit gonna set me up for life. Yes, there are females who will shout out to Katrina Gibbs. If you have not subscribed to Conversation With Me YouTube channel, get the fuck over there and subscribe. This is a black female who shows, proves it through her everyday life that it's not every black female. It's not every black female. And she speaks on how, you know what I'm saying, nothing asshole. She just made a post. Uh, she sent me some shit. And I hope, she, Katrina, I hope you do a story on uh, how Tokyo Tony was naked, old and naked. If you don't know who Tokyo Tony is, that's Black China Mama. Old and naked. On the sink. Moving her butt cheeks, she was like, you know how hoes be on the on the on the uh, on the mirror and shit like that, holding the camera behind them and shit, in the mirror behind them and shit like that. She didn't want you to see the front, cause you know all that gravity that's killed all that shit, all that shit is just running to the ground. When I saw that shit, dog, it was like, I, first thing I thought about was the smell in there, and then the second thing, like, man, that shit sad as fuck, dog. This bitch is a grandma, a well-known grandma, and she and this bitch trying to get attention. Look at me, come fuck me. If your bitch put, and this this where we going, fuck it, this where we going. If the bitch name is Diamond, if the bitch is in the mirror taking pictures, if she has any type of, listen to what the fuck I'm telling you. If she shows any signs of being anything like our definition, you know what our definition of a thought is. If you can't scroll through her Instagram, Facebook with all of your friends and none of them say, oh, you know what I'm saying? That, if, if you can't scroll through that motherfucker without a nigga saying, well, God damn, you know what I'm saying? Get the fuck. Because any bitch that's worth her salt would want to save. For the person that she's exclusive with. Who is caught. Like. How can you claim. I Yeah we know what's going on with the game. And I fucked your bitch back in the day. And all that shit like that. But. You know I don't matter to you. But I'm saying like. And, and let's say with Kim Kardashian. She know that uh, Kanye don't like. Her putting up them thirst traps. But she still do it. Cardi B. And I told y'all about that Cardi B situation. After you didn't apologize, after all said and came on stage and made herself look like a duck, you get no respect now. Now she all on. Go on my Instagram and look how she all on the couch grinding, doing porn videos, damn near. And a tattoo on her body that only Offset knows about. There's nothing special about her. Any nigga can pretty much imagine what it feel like to fuck Cardi B. Let's go further. Kim Kardashian got a fucking sex doll out now. Are you serious? If a bitch shows any signs of being that, that's what, like, if she gotta get her nails done, gotta get, you know what I'm saying, the hair, gotta do the makeup, gotta have, gotta, if that's, if, if materialistic shit is a must, I'm telling you now, you need to leave. Whatever happens after that is on you. You're a you're a nigga that's going somewhere. You're young, maybe you know, like of course you want the bad hoe and shit like that. That's why I'm talking to you. 
I can't just tell you everything that glitter ain't gold and shit like that. And I can't even tell you to put a condom on because what the fuck are the chances of that? These hoes got real deal tricks. So let me try to tell you, put a condom on. She going to try to get pregnant. I don't give a fuck how many times she, you know what I'm saying? Catch it and all that shit like that. Just head to the nigga drop and all that good shit. She's planning something. She's planning something. And she's hoping that you plant something in her. All these hoes want is a life of luxury. Hoes don't want to work. Nobody wants to work. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Niggas don't. I was thinking about that shit earlier. Having to get up and go pick up bricks, cut grass, putting shingles on a roof. Going uh, in a kitchen and and, and, and and cooking and shit like that. Fixing tacos. Hating going in a warehouse, putting couches in a fucking truck. These are jobs that I didn't have. Hating. Waking up and have, like, hating, dreading this shit. Like, to where, like, motherfuckers... You know what the fuck you do in the morning time or on your way to work, how much you despise the daily commute. My nigga DJ says, uh, I make sure at 9 a.m. when everybody going uh, 95 South, I'm going 95 North or the other way around, whatever like that. What he's saying is I had to make sure that I work for myself. If everybody is going that way, you need to go the other way. And it, it, it's like, you know, you, you have to understand it to understand it. If a nigga had a get out of work free card, they'd punch that bitch. So you have to think about that. Nobody wants to work. Don't let this whole hit that card on you. Protect yourself. I know that sex don't feel good with no condom on. Jesus, Lord. That shit don't feel like nothing. It don't feel like nothing. And it's hard for me as someone who's fucked as much as I fuck now to tell you to be celibate when you haven't fucked that much. I've had my feel at this point. To I'm not, I ain't gotta be crazy about it. But you just now starting to get the spotlight on you and shit like this and head behind the bleach and all that good shit, whatever. But you don't wanna be 30 years old. And having this baby mama, that baby mama, that baby mama, this child support, this child support, this child calling you, that child wants you to come over, that child sick, that child got a, you know what I'm saying, God forbid, that child, God forbid that that child has a, a disability, that child come out handicapped because the mother wasn't responsible, because the child wasn't what she was worried about, only to check, and you'll get more money for a, a, dis, a disabled child. That's that's the game. The game is a hoes trying to get paid, just like everybody else. A nigga sell dope to a pregnant woman, a pregnant woman. So it ain't no, ain't nobody better than nobody. Nobody better than nobody. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, trying to find a shortcut. But I'm telling you that these things exist and these people exist. They're not gonna tell you who they are. Like reptilians and shit like that. You would have to... Let's go back to They Live. The movie They Live. If you haven't seen it, go see it. You would have to have... Be blessed with the discernment... Of having those glasses on... To be able to recognize who's who. And usually you can't earn those glasses... Until you've experienced enough. Because experience is the best teacher... As a 30-year-old, you shouldn't... As a 30-year-old man, a bitch shouldn't be able to come up to you and tell you what she's about without you being able to confirm it just by looking at her. Five minutes of talking to her, you should know everything that you need to know about this bitch. Give a fuck what she says. You should be able to read a motherfucker up and down. For a kid like this, 
um, quarterback and shit like this dude's a child, 23, 21, you know what I'm saying, like, fucking child, um, the bitch is on Instagram, she got all the pictures, skin tight dress, just, you know what I'm saying, of course, flat stomach, no ass, pretty face, you know what I'm saying, just a sex object, a sex object. And they using what they got to get what they want. This whole, not only did this whole live by the creed of player club, she has the name of a player club, fucking actress. Should have been pretty easy to read this, but like I said, the motherfucker's young. What, what can we, and that's what I'm saying. And I'm saying, I'm doing all this before we even get to the charge. Before we get to the charge and all that shit like this. Because to be honest, I'm going to let y'all hear. I'm going to let y'all hear. Um, what the fuck was said, or uh, what was on the video? Damn. Here's what went down. Late last week, Diamond shared a video where she and DeAndre can be heard arguing. Listen to it. Oh, stop kidding me in my face. Stop going to my house. Don't you? Don't you fucking talk to me. Stop going to my house. She keeps saying stop hitting me in my face. But that could that could mean first off, first off, let's do this. Let's do this. If a college quarterback hit you in your face, you wouldn't just be able to say stop hitting me in my face. And you wouldn't there would be bruising. There would be bruising. She's came out and said it was a lie and all that shit like this, but the nigga lost everything. He lost everything. You lost everything because of a bitch that you found. You lost everything because of a motherfucker that you found. You thought you found love and lost everything. Body doesn't come with the brain. Beauty doesn't come with the brain. Just by that little clip right there, I can tell that this move, she's, I've, I've fucked her many times. We have to start thinking in a higher consciousness. We have to start thinking on some shit like, I've met that nigga before. A lot of y'all have met me before. Uh, the reason why a lot of y'all fuck with me so heavy is because you know me. I'm from Baldwin County, Alabama. You've never met me before. But you know me. You know who I am. Because you've met me before. In your city. All around the country. All around the world. It's a nigga like me. I remind you of somebody that you know. Different consciousness. Conscious, I, I don't know. How, what's the plural version of consciousness? Conscious, consciousnesses? You know what I'm saying? That bitch right there. I'm trying to tell you who she is, man. I had a nigga hit me up in the DM, wanted me to um tell him what to do with with a girl that he just met and shit like that. He wanted some relationship advice and shit like that. And I, I told him I didn't. I, I'm not gonna have time to do that shit for free. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to listen to the bitch conversation. I need to see pictures. I need to know what her social media is. Cause that's what I told y'all to do. If you don't have the discernment, if you don't have the eyes, and you know that you don't have the eyes, if you don't know what I, I just don't know what she's doing, I don't know what's going on. You should call on someone who obviously has that discernment. Get a second, like this is everything you do. Price check. Get a second opinion on shit. Fuck all that. Oh, they, they, they hate now. Want to see me do good? Reach out to a stranger. This is your life. This motherfucker just lost everything. Cosby lost everything. Steve Harvey almost lost everything. I'm not going to say R. Kelly. Brian Banks. Was that the Central Park Five? Bitches, Emmett Till?
It's nothing wrong with being lame. If you were lame in high nine times out of ten, if you was lame in high school, you're doing very fucking well right now. You're doing very fucking well. Probably in shape and everything. It's nothing wrong with being lame. But don't lose everything because you lame. Being lame don't mean that you you dumb. It just means that you didn't fit in with the regular people, which is not a bad thing. Sometimes you have to defer to other people's talents. Hey, man, I, I I I don't know shit about this goddamn car, man. You come over here and fix this damn alternator. Hey, man, I don't know shit about this damn roof. Could you fix this leak? Hey, man, I like this girl, man, but I just feel like something's off. Could you take a look for me? Because I'm, I'm thinking about spending my, the rest of my life with this motherfucker. But it's just something I can't get out of my mind. It's something I can't put my finger on, but it's something. You're making a lifetime fucking investment every time you're in a place with a woman with no witnesses. Anytime that you're alone with a woman, you're making a lifetime investment and a lifetime fucking gamble. After you have a pregnant, it's over with. It's not gambling anymore. She won at that point. You're gambling. The same way if you fuck a whole wall, being alone with the being alone with a female today, current time, you're rolling the fucking dice. Because you don't know what the fuck this hoe gonna come up with. You don't know what the fuck this hoe is on. You don't know if I sent over there. You lame. I've been peeping you for how long? Like I got a get rich scheme. I don't wanna work. I want a shortcut. So I'm going to send a bitch at you because I'm good with hoes. You lame. I can tell you lame. I sent a hoe at you. Get y'all in the, uh, tell her to get you in a, a room by yourself. A week later, she going to give you a text, say, hey, um, I feel like you uh, fucking sexually assaulted me. I'm going to the police. First thing you're going to say, hey, ho, whoa. And then you're going to do your research and find out that this is very viable. She can do it. You will be arrested. You will be put out there. So the next thing you ask her is how we can fix this. I got a whole thing set up on how you won't even be able to, to trace the shit back and say it was blackmail and shit like that. But we're going to get 25000 out of you real fast. Just because you lame. Real pimp shit. Fuck, fuck having to send a bitch over there to fuck. Man, look, just go over there to him right fast. And we finna, you know what I'm saying... Wham, this nigga ass. I got you goddamn $300. And I'm taking the rest, the whole, no one's in the rest of myself. But, you know, it ain't gonna let that shit go down. She's gonna say I raped it in. So I'm gonna have to get that. But I get that whole half. It wasn't shit. I ain't have to do nothing but get a hoe and say, hey, man, they go to work on these lame ass niggas. And that shit seems all impossible until you sitting up in this motherfucker trying to find out the, what the best lawyer is. God damn it. I knew it was a Knew it was something. She was too pretty. You right. She was too fucking pretty. Something was out of place there. You used to play uh, Where's Waldo and shit like that. Something. It's something here. Or uh, in school when it's like, uh, what word doesn't belong? Cat, dog, pig, umbrella. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Context clues. But I guess that's that's what street smarts is, being able to pick up on little things and shit like that. But because I was a scammer, and I feel like you have to be a scammer to be to sell any type of dope, you have to be a scammer. To be in the street, you have to be a scammer because you have to be able to change your faces. You have to be able to change your faces at different times to be a true... Uh, let me stop that. Let me stop the gangster shit because it, it gets too deep and shit like that. But the more time you spend in the street, the more time you deal with low lowlifes. And low lowlifes will do a lot of crazy things for a lot of petty things, just like children. A child will tell you a, a lie and shit like that just so they can play with a race car. 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just so they can get out of school for a day or some shit like that. Just so they can come, you know, play with some dogs, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Drug addicts are the same way. They're the same way. You equate a drug addict with a child, a childish mind to a bitch who only wants what? Especially a female who don't even want money, the whole just want attention. It's the most childish thing ever. And a childish bitch that all she wants is attention will tell you to grow the fuck up. She'll tell you to grow up. This bitch don't want nothing but attention. But she'll tell you to grow up because you're striving for your dream. Because you're chasing a dream. Working every day actively. Trying to accomplish this goal that you have. This standard that you set for yourself. She'll tell you to grow up. If you if you don't... <laughs> anytime that you don't do what she wants you to do, she'll tell you to grow up. This is why I'm telling you that... You don't need to get no hope. When you're on the way, and that's and it's hard to say that. It's hard to say that because, of course, you want a hoe that's gonna be there when you don't have shit. You don't want the hoe that's gonna be there when you up and shit like that. But I'm telling you, dog, it's just a fucked up situation. I cannot safely tell you, hey man, get you a bitch that's gonna hold you down from the bottom and shit like that because I will be leading you down a road like this nigga right here. And everybody's situation is different. As an average everyday nigga that work on a truck, there's a welder, that's you know, it's in a warehouse worker, landscaper and shit like that. What kind of dreams do you have? What does she want you for? What does she want out of life? Is the first question. What does she want out of life? A hole with no goals is that's the first at the bottom, at the center of every thought, every hole. Not listen to me now. You must respect a prostitute because she went into business for herself. Her business is her. Um, you can look at rappers like prostitutes. They pimp themselves out to different, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you want me? Yeah, I know you want me. Yeah, you want me too. Yeah, I'll be over there. Pay me and I'll give you me. You tell me which me you want and I'll give you that one. You have to pimp yourself. A lot of times you have to pimp yourself out in, in a lot of shit. Car dealers. all kind. But I'm saying that at the, let's just say thoughts. Nothing ass bitch. At the center of every nothing ass bitch. All the other little adjectives around her, like, you know, stink pussy, you know what I'm saying? All she wants is money. You know, five baby daddies, you know what I'm saying? Welfare, weave, all that good shit like this. At the center is a girl who never had a dream. A girl who never had a fucking dream. You ask, I told you this, and I'm going to tell you this again. You ask a three-year-old girl what she wants to be when she grow up. She'll say a firefighter, doctor, astronaut, scientist. I hope they still saying that. I hope they still saying that. You ask a 10-year-old girl what she want to be. She'll say a ballerina, you know what I'm saying, a jumping jack, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Ask a 16-year-old girl what she want to be when she grow up. She'll say a CNA. A boutique owner. A model. That's a 21-year-old girl what she want to be. What, what's her goal? She'll look at you like you just asked her what the square root of 57 is. What that mean? What that mean? I, I just be getting money. I just I just want to live. I just want to live. No, no, no. I'm, I'm asking you what... What's, what's your goal? Like, I'm trying to be a rapper. I'm trying to be a um, um, Nobel Peace Prize winner. Um, I, 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 I edit film. I want to be on, um, I want to win a, a Golden Globe for Best Director and shit like that. What, what's your goal? What, what do you want? I didn't want to live my best life. No, I'm saying, I understand that definitely. But, but how are you going to acquire it?